Well, good morning from the Oklahoma's video studio on this beautiful Thursday morning in downtown Oklahoma City. I'm Dave Morris. Uh, every other week, we check in with our friends at downtown Oklahoma City to see what's going on around here. Various events, various updates, whether it's signage or a party. A little bit different today, and this is going to be a good conversation. Rachel Gruntmeyer with Black Centilla, is that correct? Yes. All right, we're going to talk some business, small business owner. Um, she's been in business about a year. In fact, they have their one-year one year anniversary coming up shortly that we'll get into. But just uh, kind of the, uh, the steps that go into running a small business, running a small business down in this area, the growth that you've seen. And you're also on the board in Midtown, so kind of the um, not issues in a bad way, but some of the issues that you guys face as that area sure. grows. So, first of all, great to meet you. Thank you for coming yeah, in. Yeah, nice to meet you, Dave. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on one year. Thank you. Let's set it up. What is Black Centilla? Black Centilla, we are um, kind of an eclectic boutique. So I do men's and women's apparel. I do sizes small to 3XL for men and women. And then I also do um, a children's section, really fun giftable items because it's either baby season or wedding season. And um, I carry a lot of local Oklahoma vendors, so I try to support my fellow Oklahomans. And um, a lot of accessories, fun novelty gift items in there. I have two goals, carrying the sizes small through 3XL, and then also trying to do good price points. So I try to have um, something for every body size and every budget size. Very nice, we should uh, throw some details out there real fast. She's in Midtown at the Roundabout area on Walker. The exact address is 11. 12 North Walker Avenue, blackcentilla.com. What got you into this business? Um, it's kind of everything in my life that led up to this. My background is in interior design, and um, I did that here for a while. I had then moved out of state. I had a local boutique out of state and really enjoyed that. I really enjoy working with my customers a little bit closer. I love all the aspects that go into having the boutique as far as doing the shopping, um, designing the store, bringing in the inventory. In a weird way, I love labeling things and tagging. I love all the weird details. <laughs> so that works really good for me that most people hate. Um, and then I opened the store April 7th of last year. So next week, actually week from today, will be my one year. All right, so what are you doing to celebrate? So to celebrate, um, the day of we'll do champagne and cupcakes in the store. Nothing wrong with that. That's right. And then um, the following Saturday, April 9th, I'm gonna have a come and go party from six to nine. The first 100 attendees get a new tote bag. Last year at the grand opening party, I did um, a tote bag that went over really well, better than I expected. So we're kind of doing a new fun version this year. And inside that bag, I have so many of my wonderful local Oklahoma vendors that have donated items to go in there. Um, Adventure Road is donating items to go in there as well. It's just going to be a really good time. I'm going to have some food trucks out there. The Saucy Sicilian and Snow S'mores, Great. they'll be there. We're going to do a photo booth inside. MVP photo booth will be there. So it's going to be a really fun time. Congratulations Thank again. You. That is something to look forward to next Thursday and next Friday. Black Scintilla. Your little pocket there has changed a lot in the past year. Uh, in fact, over the past couple of weeks, we saw the streetscape, if you will, outside McNelly's mm -hmm. changed. And there's a lot of uh, growth and development going north of there, north of Louis. Uh, give us an update. What is happening around your area? Yeah, a lot of new, exciting things happening in Midtown. I'm always hearing about something new coming up. Um, so, yeah, we're excited. McNelly's kind of expanded, and they have a bigger section available, hopefully for a patio soon. Um, Love some patio weather, and it's patio weather today for sure. And that's going to be a fun spot to kind of sit centrally. You're right in between Blue Garden, Fassler, McNally's. You're in a great central spot when you're there. Um, going north on Walker, we've got several new stores that are coming in. So the old Meg Guest building is being divided into two spaces. It's like a bridal boutique for a long time, right? Yes, yes. And everybody kind of knows it as the old Meg Guest building. Um, but we're excited. They've divided that space into two separate spaces for more retail. One will be a new women's clothing boutique. The other one is going to be a new coffee shop. So we're excited to have a coffee shop right in the heart of Midtown. Um, and then kind of in between the old Met Guest building and Louise, we're going to have a new vendor or a new um, business come down from Edmond, Fit Circle. So this will be their second location that they're going to open. And what is Fit Circle? Fit Circle, they do... Anything for the active lifestyle. They've got active apparel, they've got the swell bottles, 
they're a really fun group that we're really excited to see come to Midtown and kind of bring the whole active lifestyle um, and a retail impact. I see so many people, you know, walking their dogs with um, the Midtown Dog Park. A lot of people run after work, so it's a really active place to be. You really do see a lot of runners, walkers, mm -hmm. uh, people with dogs in that area. So it's interesting that the Fit Place is opening up uh, and Organic Squeeze opened up um, yep. a few months ago. How is that? Love Organic Squeeze. It's great to have a healthy option just to walk to. They've got the pickup items to carry out. So many times I walk there, pick up something for lunch. Um, and then, of course, all the different drinks that they offer, too. So it's, it's really cool to see the active lifestyle coming full circle down in Midtown. Talking with Rachel Grumpmeyer, she owns Black Scintilla uh, over in the Midtown area. Now you are also, let me see if I can get this straight real fast, uh, you're, you serve on the Midtown board. Correct. Um, and what is your role with the Midtown board? My role is kind of the liaison between all of the Midtown tenants and the board for Midtown Renaissance. Um, it's a really fun way to get to know everyone. There are so many businesses going on in Midtown that I didn't know about before being on the board. And there are so many service-related businesses as well. So it's great to kind of be in between my fellow business owners and the board to know the details of what's going on and how we can work together better. Um, so that kind of is leading into our other event that we're doing at the end of April, April 30th. In Midtown, we had, had noticed we have so many local people that live downtown, but they don't know the services and the stores and even some of the restaurants that may be in Midtown. So we've created this event. It's the Midtown Walkabout. And um, that's kind of our way. We just want people to come out, walk Midtown, explore, see what's going on. It's gonna be a really fun event. We're gonna have street-related activities. We're gonna have um, different treats to offer different patrons when they stop by different shops. It's very friendly, family friendly. So bring your pets, bring your children, and it's just gonna be a really fun evening to check out Midtown. Is that one of the, and I mentioned issues off the top, and again, I don't mean this is a dramatic, let's have a big yeah. town hall meeting, but is that one of the things you guys discuss is walkability, uh, yeah. getting more foot traffic? Absolutely. Um, I see a huge amount of my customers come in from the edge, which we love the edge, we love that they're down here, but so many of them don't even know all of the wonderful shops that are going on in Midtown. So this is kind of our way to um, reintroduce people that may already live down here and may have lived here for a while, but don't really know all the new things that are happening. And in a good way, there's so many new things that are happening, it's just kind of a way to update people on all of the wonderful events. Well, your building there recently had a mm -hmm. facelift as well, right? Yes. We were repainted, so it's nice to kind of see our little building freshened up and uh, modernized a little bit. Well, now's a chance, I guess, to provide a little education. Tell us about the tenants that are in that building, because there are several small businesses there. Sure. So there's myself. Um, right next to me is a local dentist. And you guys are on the south side of the building, right? Correct. We're on the south side. And um, so she kind of has the great little corner spot, lots of windows. So local dentist, um, and then going north from there, there's trade men's wear, which they do awesome men's apparel, giftable items for men. It's a really beautiful men's tailored look. Um, right next door to that is Chirps and Cheers, one of my favorite little stores. It's one of my go-to places for yeah. cards. They have the best cards. There's cards, always something funny. Yes. Large fluffy dog when you walk in the door. Love Olive, all of the shop puppy. Secretly want to steal her. Um, great little store. And then next to her is the Beauty Lounge. Mm -hmm. So they also do women's apparel. And they do a great um, job at offering a variety of sizes too. And you can shop her online and in store as well. And she's now also carrying some new home decor items as well. Cool, and I think the Hair Cafe is just next to that, barbershop yep. style shop. Yep. Of course, Cafe do Brazil uh, beyond Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Well, there you have it, a lot going on in the Midtown area. Uh, Rachel, it's, it's great to meet you. Yeah, uh, congrats again on the uh, success, Thank the you. one year. What, what's next for you? Looking for expansion plans or gonna um, stay anchored down here? Or I, w I always wanna be in Midtown. I do see within maybe the next three to five years needing more square footage which I've already talked to Midtown about. So, um, you know, setting higher goals for moving on, of course. Um, the online store, I'm always trying to update that, get more active in that. Um, 
just really excited to be part of Midtown and all the events going on. Well, there are a lot of things going on. All right, uh, blackcentilla.com for more information on Rachel's uh, business. Uh, the inventory, a lot of it's online. Go see the store. Next week, the one-year anniversary stuff on Thursday and Saturday. And for more downtown Oklahoma City activities, downtownokc.com. Rachel, again, great to meet you. Thank you. Thanks, Dave.